Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to episode 80 of the Elements Dev Diary. Now, I've got a couple of cool little things to show you today. The first is a new option we've added to the editor in Elements. Now, this will be available later this week in a new build. So I've got my project here and it's quite a long project. So this page is very long, a lot of content on here. And if we go to the Node browser, you can see it's very long and it's quite overwhelming. It's especially hard to sometimes find the item you're looking for. And while we do have search, which is really handy, that's great. Often you're working between these two views. And if I click on this, well, let me come down here and I click on this and now you can't see where this is selected in the, in the editor. So I've got to scroll down, find where it is. And this can become quite tedious when you're kind of working on a big design and you kind of have to go looking for that layer. So added a new feature. Now this has been requested for a while, but I think this has turned out better than anticipated. And um, I really wish we would have implemented it sooner, but it's better that we've done it now than never. So this new option is called scroll to selection. So let's enable that. And I don't know how I uh, how I worked before without this because now since we've implemented this I've always had it switched on so if I scroll down in my node browser and I'm looking for some components here and I think oh, I want to go to the accordion section I click on accordion here and zoom it takes me straight to that section so this is really cool uh, I could go to the slider section and the editor just scales uh, just slides, boom, to show me that. It's absolutely wonderful to work like this. And again, I go straight back up to the top. So when I click in the editor, it it changes the node browser as well, which is also really cool. So let me scroll down here. And if I click on the title, boom, it's matched it up with the node editor. So I'm right here, which is really handy when you're wanting to move um, components around. So let's go to the form, boom, I'm right there. And now I know if I need fine grain control, I can just do that right here in the node browser. Um, yeah, this scrolling to the selection is just, it's really marvelous to work like this, to find what you want, boom, puts it into view. And really, once you start working this way, I don't think you'll really switch this off. See how you get on with it. But I know from using this that I just leave this on because it is so useful both ways, having it sync, stay in sync. It's absolutely, uh, it's absolutely mind blowing. So yeah, scroll to selection, amazing. I think you're really gonna love it. Now, the other thing I wanted to cover, we have just released another project on the marketplace and this is a free project. So if you go to the Rapid Weaver marketplace and what you can do, you can pick Rapid Weaver Elements and currently we have all the projects available listed on here. Now there's quite a few paid for ones and there's quite a few free ones as well. North 11, the project we just released yesterday, this is also a free project. There's a video that will tell you more about it, how to use it, how it's set up, a couple of screenshots and you can just open this straight in Elements because it's a free project. Click to open and then you can start using it. Now, this project is great for um, designers, architects, small studios to show off some portfolio work. But really, you could anyone could use this because it's such a clean blank um, template. Let's preview this just so we can have a better look. Because it's such a clean blank project, you could probably tailor this and find a lot of uses for this. So even a business site, it's just really nice. I've got a list of my projects here, click in, and then I've got a nice project template, two column view, and I've got a gallery here that opens up. All really nice, all built into elements. Got a bit of client feedback. And let's go services. I've got an area where I've got these um, accordions nicely styled and set up and contact and a nice contact form as well. So this is available for free to use and you can go in, customize it, and we can just make more of these accordions if we want. Click in here. Yeah, and uh, easily edit things, you know, how you're used to in Elements. So go give this new project a try, go and test it out, have a play around, and hopefully you'll learn a few things um, about building 
layouts with elements. Uh, so these, these projects are always really handy to see how people set things up, um, you know, and how to use a flex. There's a nice flex here with some animation on some icons. So if you've wanted to do this kind of thing in your website, you can easily just copy this. I could copy this if I do a new, uh, let's actually do a new project and um, I'll just throw a container in here. Then I'm going to paste in uh, I'm going to paste in that flex and now I've got this flex in my new project. So yeah, really easy to use this and come in here and actually steal um, bits of layout. So I could copy this, come back to my new project and boom, this is in here. Um, so yeah, so definitely do download this, have a look, have a play around and I hope you find it useful. All right, so new build of elements will be available soon and you can then try out the scroll to selection option for yourself which is uh, as i've said before which is amazing and ben will be back soon with some more cms updates he's really uh, he's done some great work on that as well so we're firing on all cylinders as usual and lots more good stuff to come all right so i hope you've enjoyed this update and i will be back very soon with another update all right thanks for watching this one cheers bye <laughs>